What's up Forest Fam? Today's my birthday, so I'm actually gonna take you on a little birthday vlog and update you on the state of the forest. Let's go! But here's a quick breakfast montage. Uh, I'm just gonna make some quick food and then we can get to talking. This is my specialty, by the way. So the main reason I wanted to make this video was so I could talk to you guys a little bit more about the state of this channel, why I didn't post more videos in 2022, and my plan going forward in 2023. So let me get straight to it. This channel has seen better days, for sure. I've been doing Simcore music for almost four years now, and those songs seem to be the only videos that do well on my channel. At the root of it, the content relies heavily on other streamers and their audience to succeed, and while I think it was clever and fun for a while, I always felt a little bad for leaning on others and not making more independent content. And that's a big reason why I only do them once a year. On top of this, there have been some pretty major side effects from going viral with my type of content. The initial burst of growth and the waves that followed ballooned my subscriber count to heights I never thought possible. And it was amazing for a long time. But the hype died down, and after two more releases of similar content, my momentum has slowed so much to the point that I'm actually slowly losing subscribers for the last couple months, to be honest. It felt good to gain so many subscribers initially, but the thing is that many of them are just fans of the streamers I write about and don't necessarily care about my other day-to-day -day content. So generally, if I put out any video that isn't about someone's favorite streamer, my viewership suffers immensely. Obviously, this comes with the nature of my content, and it isn't true for all my fans, but it's still kind of sad that no matter how much time I put into a special video, whenever I hit publish, I'm immediately punished with the subscriber loss because it isn't what they signed up for, which in turn heavily affects the video's performance in the algorithm. So, all this considered, in 2022, I was low-key afraid to post anything, anywhere. Not just YouTube, even Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, you name it. Um, just in fear that I'll speed up the deflation process. But the thing is, that didn't solve the issue and it probably just made it worse. So the only way I can see to turn this channel back around is to continue doing Simcore. Uh, so no, I'm not gonna stop, but also to start posting content unapologetically and just maintain output no matter what happens. Some home fries, bacon, and eggs. Can't go wrong, honestly. Cheers. Mm. So that's why, starting this week, I'm gonna start posting a lot of shorts on this channel. I've never done that before, and I'm not really sure what's gonna happen, but uh, apparently it's new, and uh, you can monetize it now, so that's cool. But I just need to start posting more and more stuff again without feeling inadequate because a follower count or subscriber count or view count, whatever, but just putting out stuff that I think is cool and fun. And yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. And actually that reminds me of another really important thing. I would have started posting shorts earlier this year, but I had a very, very large technical issue. And let's go back to my studio and I'll tell you about it more. This place is a disaster right now. As you can see, I've recently had to spend a small fortune to replace my entire setup. Well, not my entire setup, but an important part of it. All right, so basically what happened was, at the end of January, my iMac, the machine that made all your favorite music of mine, Pokey Pokey, Do It Like Ray, Smooth Talker, all the Lily Pichu songs, it just died. It just stopped working, it stopped turning on, and I was just out of my main music machine, which sucks. So. At the time, I bought a brand new Mac Studio, which I also had to get a new monitor for it because the iMac screen was, you know, it was the screen. So I had to wait about two weeks for that to come in. And when it finally came in, I started setting it up. For some reason, my entire archive, my hard drive enclosure with all of my data, with all of the old songs, and the songs I was working on before the crash were wiped. It was just gone. Not just one hard drive, three hard drives of the four inside of it. So not only did I lose access to all my data, but I had to buy a new system. I bought a NAS. Uh, I'm not gonna bore you with the details, but uh, it's basically a new way for me to, to take care of all of my data. Also, I have to send in my old hard drives to Drive Savers, which is a service that will hopefully recover all of the data that I lost and who knows how much that'll cost. That could cost, the, the guy who told me, he gave me a quote, it was basically between $900 and $4,900 for one drive. Huh? And remember, I lost three. I'm probably only gonna do two 
because one of them I can, you know, I can easily replace, like the data I can easily replace. So, so yeah, I would have started posting shorts a lot sooner, but I haven't been able to edit videos. I haven't been able to work on music. And so I've just literally been streaming Valorant for like two months straight because I have literally nothing better to do. So right now I'm on my way to FedEx to ship my drives, my dead drives, to drive savers so that hopefully they can recover the data that I lost so that hopefully I can get back to work soon and you know, hopefully it won't cost too much. Another thing that I wanna do a little bit more of is less scripted videos. A lot of my uh, stuff in the past, I've tried to Mr. Beastify um, because He's such an influence on the platform. So I try to be like, hey guys, what's up? You know, let's, uh, we got a crazy video for today. It just comes up kind of fake, when I do it at least. Um, and I don't like editing those. So I want to do a little bit more off the cuff, uh, improvised uh, and more natural content. You know, stuff like this where I can just talk to the camera and hopefully somebody's listening. <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm just about now arrived at the store. Guys, the place right next to the place that's shipping my thing is called Pokey Pokey. There's no way. If that ain't fate, I don't know what is. All right, there it is. You too. All right, so hard drives are dropped off and I only got two more things, two more errands left to do today. First, we're gonna go to the store and pick up some craft beer for tonight's festivities. And then we're gonna get a haircut because uh, this shit's too long, dude. If you guys don't know, I love craft beer. Um, it's been a pastime and a hobby of mine that I've had with one of my best friends for a really long time. Um, they've just got so many beers and the, the art on the cans are super cool. I mean, it, just look at this one. This one's uh, <laughs> kind of wild. But I just spend a lot of time just walking down, up and down the aisles in the freezer section, just checking out the ratings of all these new craft beers I've never tried before. And uh, well, after a while, this, the, these are the two that I decided on. Uh, one is a latte milk stout, uh, which should be delicious. I love those kind of beers, as well as a highly rated IPA uh, called Fluctuation. So um, yeah, can't wait to try them tonight. So I'm an idiot and I forgot my camera at home, but I'm gonna get a haircut now. So yeah. Hey, Joe. Hi, Josie. <laughs> All right, so I'm back home. This is the new do, and uh, I'll show some before and after pics because I know I was wearing a hat all day. But now I'm gonna have some dinner, and then I'm gonna start stream. And that's pretty much it for the vlog. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see more vlogs in the future. And uh, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.